Hi, Karen. Hi. Dad, this is Simon. Simon, Dad's taking us to school today. I've seen you somewhere before. Yes, I was at Karen's birthday party. Hey, that might be it. Just thought I'd seen you with that lot that hang around the bins at the back of the Argos. <laughs> All right, Simon. I recognise you from there. No, it's definitely Karen's birthday party, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> OK, we'll play it your way. You don't hang around the Argos. You've never hung around the Argos. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that you do hang around the Argos. Because that's how it starts. Hood up, intimidating the elderly, happy slapping and spliffing up. Before you know it, you're getting your collar felt for bunking off. No money, no prospects. What are you going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to start doing the odd job for your dealer just to get a five draw. And everything is fine, my friend! You pulled in a stop and search with a shipment of stolen credit cards stuffed down your pants. <laughs> Still, first offence, a bit of community service. Nothing you can't handle, Mr. Big Man. <laughs> it's not easy getting a job with no education and a criminal record, so you go on the rob. Before you know it, you're caught in a lock up, up to your nuts in bent DVDs. <laughs> Magistrate isn't so lenient the second time round. Two stretch doesn't look very good on the CV, does it? So you still can't get a job, and now you've got Karen and the baby to support. <laughs> You're getting desperate. You meet a guy in a bar, says you can make a quick 300 just by driving a van. When you get out, you're 35. No future, and a string of shattered lives behind you. Is that what you want, Simon? Is it? Simon! 